Hey YouTube, this is Tom at TM Aquatics and I hope you're all doing great. It's been a fantastic and busy couple of weeks here in the fish room at TM Aquatics. I just got done shipping out the last of my Green Laser Corydoras Juveniles. Over 60 of those have been shipped out just in the past two days alone. But don't worry, I have plenty of more where those came from and we'll check that out in just a minute. We're also gonna take a look at the L260 Queen Arabesque Pleco Fry and right now, this very moment, I could have potentially the largest spawn out of my L134 Leopard Frog Plecos, and they're hatching as we speak. So don't go anywhere. Stick around and check this one out. All right, YouTube, so over here on the 20 gallon grow out rack, this is the tank where I was keeping my green laser corridors juveniles. And as you can see, it's pretty empty. Only thing remaining in here are a couple of blue eyed lemon and citrus, a couple of snails, a little bit of detritus. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this out, do a big water change. We're gonna be adding some more fry to this tank and grow them out. So this is the group of uh, Green Laser Corydoras Fry that I'll move up into that 20 gallon long. There's anywhere between 50 to 55 in this group. I'll just take that breeder box off the tank, I'll disconnect it. I'll move it over here, I'll hang it on the 20 gallon, hook the air back up, let them acclimate to the water. And then they'll be released and they'll start growing out in this 20 gallon tank. I'll toss in all the java moss that I had to remove when I netted out all the other green lasers so I could uh, bag them up and ship them. And then what I need to do, in this fry box we have some fry now that are about a week and a half old, but I also have a bunch of eggs in here from a spawn that took place yesterday. So I'd like to remove the fry and leave the eggs in this uh, fry box. There's probably 50 eggs in here and then again today another female spawned you can see there's eggs in here all over the place so I need to start picking those eggs as well and I'll just toss them up into this fry box with the eggs from yesterday's spawn between all the eggs and the uh, fry that are in here the fry that are in here we're looking at probably 200 green laser Corydoras quite a few all right, so in this fry box here, this is the L260 Queen Arabesque Pleco Tank. And here are the fry from the L260 spawn. We have 10 of them in here. Again, these are a high pan cistrus, the L260. You can see their egg sacs or yolk sacs are completely absorbed. They started uh, rasping on the katapa leaf and the little piece of driftwood I have in there. Their first meal is always going to be like biofilm. Almost always. You see there's a little bit of poo and stuff in there. This here is a little bit of leftover uh, food from a feeding I uh, gave them earlier today. It's some Ebo Aquaristic grow paste. So my first foods that I like to feed, my L134s and the high pan fry. Here's spirulina grow paste, and this again is Ebo Aquarius stick. And then the youngster grow paste. Let's just open this up, I'll show you what it is. It's literally just like it sounds, it's just kind of a paste, and you just mold it into like a ball or something. And uh, once you drop it in the water, it starts forming a biofilm almost immediately and um, just turns into a food source that these little plecos can eat and digest rather easily. All right, so over here on the 55 gallon tank where I keep my adult group of L134 leopard frog plecos, you can see in this fry box I have some juvenile L134s. And these are the only four juveniles that I have so far from this year's uh, breeding season. They're all doing fantastic. This one up here is just an incredible looking fish. I've never seen markings on a juvenile L134 
like this fish has. And if this is any indication on what he's going to look like when, uh, when it's an adult size, this fish is going to be incredible. I'm going to keep him around in the fish room for quite a while, I'll tell you that. These four are doing fantastic. They're getting pretty big. Time to move them out of this uh, fry box. I'll probably move them up into the 20 long grow out where I have some L46 zebra plecos growing out. But so far, like I said, these were the only four L134s that I have so far this breeding season. All right, YouTube, in this five gallon tank, I have a nice sized spawn from my L134 leopard frog plecos. I'm really excited about this because so far I've only managed to grow out four juveniles this breeding season. Now this spawn here is uh, around 40 eggs. Now there are some bad eggs in here. You can clearly see there's a few bad eggs there. There was a total of five. I took the egg bundle out last night. There were five bad eggs. I was going to remove them. But most of them are so far towards the center of the egg bundle, in fear of damaging some of the adjacent eggs, I decided uh, not to try and remove them. As you can see, we have a couple that have hatched out. Some others are wiggling. They should all be hatched uh, by tomorrow night. Now I've been able to keep the spread of any bacteria or fungus in check. By putting the uh, egg bundle in this ZIS ZET65 egg tumbler and in this five gallon tank, I've been dosing hydrogen peroxide at three milliliters per gallon per day. And then I kind of have a tannin soup going on with some alder cones and uh, Indian almond leaves or catapa leaves. And between those two, it's kept any spread of uh, the bacteria and fungus in check. We're gonna have a nice sizable hatch now my record spawn in this fish room was like 36 or 38 last year. We have the uh, potential to break that. Not positive how many we're going to end up with, but we are going to have a nice hatch here. You can see their their a or their eyes and uh, how fully developed and how many we have. This is going to be great. Super excited about this because again, so far this season we only have those four other juveniles to show for it. So really excited to have finally a nice uh, sizable spawn here in the fish room. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a quick look at some of the other breeding projects we're going to place some focus on over the next few months. All right, YouTube, there you have it. Just a quick update on a few of the active breeding projects here in the fish room at TM Aquatics. Now, with that being said, I have three other species of Corydoras and six other species of Plecos that have yet to spawn, and they're all getting pretty close. So things could get pretty crazy here in the coming months, so stay tuned. Anyways, I greatly appreciate everybody stopping by and taking time out of your schedule to watch one of my videos. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below. Hit the like button on your way out. And if you haven't subscribed, just hit the subscription button. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for stopping by. And until the next one, we'll catch you all later.